I haven't been in one of these in ages. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's got the phone book case and everything. Remember this? Oh, there's a phone book in there too. Bad part. Oh no. What happened? Literally it just fell apart. Oh my god, this used to be a head. I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Hey guys, what's going on? It is Monday afternoon, and I'm going to pop over to Kevin's. It's been a little while since we've done a Grizzly Garage update, so I think we're about due. He has been working his butt off on all kinds of projects. Did a cabinet restoration on a Evil Knievel. Wait, no. On a um, Bally Kiss. And on a Bobby Orr. On a Future Spa. On his Future Spa. He's currently just wrapping up a Data East Star Wars that we picked up along with a Tron arcade cabinet a while back. I did a video on that. That was uh, those machines were in really kind of nasty condition because I don't know that house that we picked those up from. We didn't really mention it in the video at the time, but that house smelled like a thousand boxes of kitty litter. It was not good. And we were wearing masks at the time too and it didn't help at all. And I feel like kitty litter and humidity combined to make some sort of concoction that just stuck to the outside of the cabinets and uh, it was it was nasty. So that Data East Star Wars, that now belongs to Corey Cook of London Pinball. And Kevin has done uh, cabinet decals on that. Then, back in the day, we did a video of uh, called Arcade Nightmare. You should really check that out. Uh, it was an arcade that has been disintegrating for decades. And we went in there and hauled out a few machines that were in deplorable, deplorable condition. And we ended up selling a party zone to our buddy Russell from London who kind of cleaned it up, like got rid of the main nasty. A lot of the mold and mildew and it was covered in a good quarter inch of, of fuzz and fur. And yeah, I, I should try and pull up a, a clip of the video or something. But anyway, it was extremely nasty. Russell cleaned it up, shopped it up, sent out the boards, bought some new ramps, pieced it together and ended up selling it to Kevin and now Kevin has started tearing that apart and it actually is in a little bit uh, more rough shape than upon initial inspection. Once you start tearing it down, you know, nut and bolt, then you can really dive in there and see just how bad it is. So I got a few photos of that today and I'm like, ooh, party zone we must take a look at that and uh, I think we already kind of coined this one the party pooper zone project so oh, that'd be fun to kind of take a peek at what's going on with that see what he has left of the other restorations that he's done so I know um, I think Star Wars and Future Spa are still there I think Kiss and Bobby Orr are gone and I also feel like I'm missing something. Uh, oh, maybe we can take a quick peek. Oh no, okay, I was gonna say, they picked up uh, Ripley's Believe It or Not uh, from Corey in exchange partly for all the three cabinets that they did or Kevin did for Corey. Because the Bobby Orr Kiss and Star Wars are all for Corey. So, Kevin traded his labor there. I should pay attention so I don't miss my turn. And, uh, and some cash and picked up a Ripley's Believe It or Not. I was gonna say, let's check that out, but that's actually in their basement right now. It's not in the garage, so we'll have to check that out another time. But we'll see what's going on in the uh, in the Grizzly Arcade as well, maybe. Um, I know that we're still, well, they are still waiting on 
gas and electrical. Okay, this is not my turn, so we are good. So the arcade is still waiting on uh, some things, but I know they're uh, actually able to sort of utilize the space and put some stuff in there, so maybe we'll take a quick peek in there and see what is happening in the arcade. Anyway, I'll be there shortly. Hey man, <laughs> good timing, I just hit record. I forgot, there's more action than, uh, you know, the fence has been completed here. Uh, almost done. Almost done? Look at this. And, I don't think uh, the peoples, the shenaniganders, have really seen the kind of finished product over here, too. The, uh, and, of course, the stars of the show. Hi. Hi, doggies. So how does the, uh, can we demonstrate this pretty sweet rolling system, or no? <laughs> uh, well, I, I haven't made it, so it's actually screwed together right now. Oh, okay. But this fence is, I can see the wheel here, and uh, this will just kind of, big giant pocket door. Yeah, man, nice design. That's pretty sweet. It'll just go right in there. It's like a 13-foot door, you said. That's awesome. And then you can just wheel in whatever, drive in whatever, into the uh, arcade there. Holy shit, man. You've put in like thousands of hours, I bet. It feels like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, uh, you stay in here. So, where should we go first? Should we tour in there or tour in here? Uh, we can go in there. All right, cool see what's shaking in the arcade. Not a whole lot. We're still waiting on electrical and gas. Right. But it's it's got stuff in it now. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. That'll be our lighting. Got some tools. Oh, yeah. Here it is. These guys are having a heyday. <laughs> Are you happy to have some new faces around here? Wow, look at this. This is the future spa. I see a uh, new coin door decal on there too. So, how did this go? Was it pretty straightforward, this one? I should throw in maybe a little more light here. No, I don't think that even matters. This is a uh, this is um uh, pinball pimp stencil kit. Yeah. It looks beautiful. I love it. Still put, put the feet on the back of the cabinet. Oh, the uh, the nylon feet. Yeah, I remember the steel ones though. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. So this isn't actually playable yet because uh, you got some wiring stuff to deal with, but you've definitely prettied it right up. Um, it look at this. Oh, does it really? Yeah, it needs some mega load. Because but... huh. there was some pretty big wiring hacks. So... Yeah. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice job, man. I, and the the apron came out really well too. Yeah, it was totally like the wrong color, so yeah. I chose to paint sandblast and paint it white yeah right so then it didn't because what was it before black no it was uh like burgundy oh okay but then this the sticker wasn't the right color this was it, from the classic arcades place yeah yeah so i didn't want to like make it look completely off so right oh. yeah yeah so the color was not quite original but you made it work with the, the white base yeah sweet oh yeah it turned out yeah, man. I think it looks great. Future Spa. Can't wait to play this guy. So, um, and then this is looking a lot better than the last time. Yeah. Uh, we saw this covered in uh, kitty litter dust and whatever the hell else it was. Look at this. You just started this, like, what, a week ago? Yeah. And... Uh, Saturday night. Saturday night? 
and it's Monday, so you've already got all <laughs> the whole thing decaled as as and re-put back together again. Like everything I can until uh, I get the powder coated back. Oh, okay. Right, waiting on powder coating. So, what did you go for, like color for powder coating? Because uh, it's going with Corey. He was like, just wanted to go back to black black. So. Oh, okay, right, yeah. So Corey wants the standard black. So black, like lock bar, black legs, and black side rails. And where did this these decal set come from again? Um, that, they're, retro, not... they're retro refurbs. Oh, okay. Some retro refurbs. Double set, I think, in Windsor. And then Corey ended up the second set. Oh, right. It was posted on uh, one of the pinball groups or something yeah. for a pretty reasonable price. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Man, that looks pretty. Wow. I was starting to tell Kevin that he's like going to be the Canadian version of Hep soon. <laughs> if he keeps this up. Oh, yeah. So that'll be awesome. Nice. But I can't put them on until I put the hinges on. So oh, yeah. Right. Hinges. You guys. Look at you guys. <laughs> you guys are best buddies. Uh, and the head. Let's take a quick peek at that, too. Oh, yeah. That's just sharp and crispy and clean. And uh, I was mentioning that you traded all of your services and a little bit of cash for a Ripley's, believe it or not. Yeah, yeah that's looking great. Um, yeah, so Kevin or uh, Corey will... I love that. Have you shown them photos? I did. I sent pictures <laughs> yesterday. I was kind of sending them pictures to, hey, it's coming to you pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, time to come back home. That's uh, the play field here. Uh, yeah, like um, just minimal wear. I've got a puppy in my face. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, actually. The wiring looks pretty good. I don't see any major hacks there. Except. Uh, except. We'll there's always an except. Oh, you did send me a photo. <laughs> or showed me. What was it? Uh, lamp wire or something? Yeah, yeah, this is worth, worth checking out. It's the old operator hacks. Whatever it takes to get the machine gun here. I'll throw in the light for this one. So, yeah, the power supply. These connectors are often crispy, but look at this job here. Let's zoom in a little bit. That is impressive. Wow. <laughs> so is this marretted together, you said, on the other end? Yeah. Uh, just electrical tape. Oh, wow. Yeah. So... That's fixable. Um, the rest of it looks pretty clean though. Oh yeah, let's see. So batteries in there. Batteries are good. Uh, I mean, like no leakage. Yeah, it's very clean. Let's see. Other than that, yeah, I don't really see anything. This was the board that I had to fix on the WWF, the PPB board. It was one of these big fat transistors that was blown. And uh, oh yeah, one of the. The uh, fuse clips was flaky, so this one looks nice. Yeah, cool. Corey will be a happy camper with this guy. And uh, you got a phone booth. This is pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> this would be great for the arcade. I haven't been in one of these in ages. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's got the phone book case and everything. Remember this? Oh, there's a phone book in there, too. <laughs> it's a little dry and flaky. Let's, uh, I wonder what year this is. Uh, featuring one-of-a-kind fashion frames. Uh-oh. I need to get me some uh, glasses. <laughs> it's time. Kevin and I are joining the uh, glasses party. Yeah. Kevin did a couple weeks ago. I need to go shopping. Just got my prescription. But yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um... What else you got cooking over here? The Mad World Project. But look at all this space, like, it's just so nice. You can walk for a block and still uh, have, oh, I should turn off this flash, get it out of your eye. Look at this space, it's amazing. Can't wait to actually, 
down that the outside is pretty well done. Start populating the inside. Um, oh yeah, so this is the Buccaneer. Did we ever look at the finished product? I don't remember if we did or not. I don't know if I've filmed this, but this Buccaneer also turned out amazing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do recall with the blue neck and I don't remember to what extent it was put together, but this is the finished product. And if you're looking for a Buccaneer, this could be yours because it is now for sale. This was Dutch's project. And uh, yeah, it's complete. Oh, and some John G. apron cards. Uh, his cards are good and uh, I've promoted them and I think he's been getting some sales out of the deal too, so pretty sweet. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess there's more in the uh, the garage. Uh, <laughs> the uh, party pooper zone. Let's turn this off for a moment. So this is what you're working on currently. Did you uh, tear this apart today or? Last night and then today. Okay. Ah, uh, black hole came out of the basement. Yeah. Gonna so give that a bit of a treatment. Yeah, we're gonna redo it. Yeah? Oh, you're doing the whole cabinet and everything? Oh, wow. And then LEDs and then uh, just going, uh, going to on the market and help pay for your uh, Ripley's kind of thing? I think so. Yeah? Okay. So this is the party zone. Yeah. Although it looks <laughs> Oh my it god. When we pulled it out of the Whoa. Grand Bend. Yeah, it looks it does look better than when we pulled out of the rotting arcade in Grand Bend. Although Holy shit. Though. Wow. It it actually smells similar. Uh, in, in the you know, I can kind of have that old arcade fragrance still going on. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, no way around it. It is pretty. What yeah. is what is this? Oh, is that That's... just like decal stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so um. But yeah, like uh... this this might be like the Gilligan's Island shipwreck was uh, you know a bit of a challenge. This is worse than the Bottoms family. This is we're oh the Bottoms family right? Okay, so this is the pinnacle. This is the greatest challenge that you will have encountered up to this I date. Feel like maybe I probably shouldn't have taken this one. Oh <laughs> shit! Hey, I can totally understand that. This is uh, this is pretty major. I'm looking at the good part of it though. Yeah, this the is good the bad part. <laughs> oh no! What happened? Literally, it just fell apart. It just fell apart. Oh my god! This used to be a head. Oh, hi puppies. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's the puppies jumping on me. Oh. Yeah, that's a little deflating. Oh, sorry puppies. Uh-huh. Wow. Yep. That is uh definitely a party pooper there. Yikes. Yeah. Maybe we should have started on the bad note and finished on the more good note instead of in reverse. Probably. Oh well. Uh, so, uh, these are all the boards for it? Yeah. Um, they were all sent out to Brent, from what I understand. Does that sound about right? Or... I think so. And the CPU looks like it might be not from the original set. It looks a different type of green and actually looks to be in... Is this a reproduction? Uh... <laughs> Hi puppies. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> the puppies are excited. I'm just trying to determine if this is like some rotten dog board or something. Um, I don't see a rotten dog sign anywhere, but... Hmm. Well, maybe you have a new CPU, so theirs are finishing on a good note, maybe. <laughs> uh, so, you're in this deep. I guess you're going to just keep plugging away. You're not going to throw it in the uh, fire pit? I kind of want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. Okay, so if you accomplish this mission, man, there's basically nothing you can't accomplish after this one. Uh, I mean, we have faith in you for sure. It's just the the road is steep and, and treacherous, that is for sure. Oh, okay, well, since we're looking over in this direction. Oh, yeah, okay. What a, 
Is this good or bad stuff? Oh, that's bad, but... <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> oh, is this the play field? This is the play field. The play field top has been half cleaned. Okay, so the top side is okay. Let's let's uh, take a peek at that. And is, are these the new ramps? Yeah. Okay. So this is how I got. So it doesn't look, you know, upon first glance here, it actually looks okay. Pretty dirty still. It's gonna need a little stuff. And let's take a look at the underside. Okay. Uh huh. Oh my god. Wow. Yep. This is what happens when a pinball machine rots away for a couple decades in a very humid and destroyed environment. Whoa. That's... Oh, uh, yeah. So, do you have any gasoline? Uh, yeah. This is a... This is a... Nut and bolt. I don't know, man. That, that's a little terrifying. I do have to admit... You're wondering if this is a Tales of Nights or something like that. <laughs> yeah, if it was a Toten or an IJ, then uh, the motivation would be a little, but a little higher. But uh, it's a party zone, which is cool. But it's yeah. you know, it's not exactly high end uh, A title, super duper desirable. So uh, pretty cool. So. But the party. Okay, this is the pinnacle of the party pooping going on right now, right? <laughs> so. Hopefully. In uh, whatever, some due time, the spirit of the party will uh, be a little bit elevated. So, I'm going to end up replacing the bottom. Oh, yeah? Okay. Well, might as well at this point. Yeah. I think that, this, uh -huh. both sides of the head, the bottom, and possibly the top. Uh-huh. Possibly just making a whole new head. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, it may require that. Wow, okay. You got your work cut out for you on this one, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I guess, uh, I guess after this one, we'll probably, you probably won't be buying any more, uh, quite as disastrous, uh, shipwrecks, but, you know, we, uh, I don't mind the challenge, but yeah, this one's worse than I thought it was. Gonna be. Yeah, uh, definitely a little surprising. Um, yeah, it's still got some of the good old arcade gunk in there. Yeah, I know. But we know Kevin and his handiwork. It's just this one is going to require like five times the amount of work as the others potentially. But uh, I'll have to pop back in in a in a little while and start seeing some light at the end of the tunnel we have faith in you buddy we know you can do it all right well that's your crazy garage update for the day we'll uh, catch you guys on the next one thanks for watching